Love and Rand here playing Farming Simulator 22 on Prairie Farms, Michigan here. And since last episode, finished plant oats on field seven. I also got the weeds sprayed for. We still need to roll the field yet. Well, we don't necessarily have to, but I'm planning on rolling the field. I was getting ready to uh, skip time here, though, and I realized I was uh, going through this here because I seen y'all need rolling. And, oh, wait, uh, went, there we go. Oh, I need to turn this back on. Here we go. And we'll see it. And I happen to notice our grass field's ready to be mowed already. I was not expecting that. I was expecting to be into the next in-game day here this episode. But, hey, grass field needs to be mowed. And then I realized I don't think we ever put any fertilizer down on our alfalfa field, which I'm not entirely sure. I mean, other than selling the bales, what are we supposed to do with this field? But, hey, the bales do pay quite well. So we'll probably uh, do that here again. So, anyway... Uh, we got a hay field that needs to be mowed here at this episode. Also want to work on putting some more fertilizer down. We got a field that needs to be rolled, so let's uh, keep it rolling here, everyone, because we got some work to do here. Um, I need a tractor. Are they all over here? Yep. We'll grab the uh, the big, ugly red one over here. Yeah, I know. It's a red tractor. I mean, what, what do you, it's, you know, no, it's on the roller, though. Well, uh, I kind of need a tractor with the front three-point. I think this is my only tractor with the front three-point. I Think, unless did I put one on the 7R? No, I don't think so. I think that one has a front um, front loader instead. Or actually, no, wait a minute. Do we need a front? Remember here with this uh, mower setup we have. Yes, we do need a front. Okay. Don't remember there for a minute if this one took a front or not. Yes, it does. That uh, connected. Swing around. We'll get the back connected here. And we'll probably end up uh, turning this into... Actually, you know what? That's a good question. I should think about this here. Should we do hay bales? Or should we look at doing some silage here? Make that turn. There we go. I'll do go uh, check our cow barns a little more uh, closely here a minute, everyone. Before we uh, decide what we're going to do with this hay. Before we actually start making, well, making hay out of it, right? Very well possible I might need silage before I need hay. So, anyway, we'll get the... Uh, oh, actually, you know what? Horse play or higher... Horse play would probably be the better choice here with the ditch that's right here. I'm going to get Doc uh, horse play going on this here then. Okay, horse play, you're up. Horse generation here. Three headlands. Yeah, that should be pretty good. Let's uh, generate that course. And I want to go into my settings here because I keep forgetting to change this. Uh, in the course play settings, when you have settings to raise and lower tools early and late, I always like to change them to the opposite of what the, de the default is when it comes to raising tools to raise early and to lower late. I prefer it exactly the opposite way around, and I'm not sure why anyone else would not because, I mean, otherwise you end up in missing spots. So, like, why would you want to not trying to think of a scenario and or a reason I'm going where raising and lowering late you know and vice versa would would make a difference I can't think I don't know maybe you folks don't think of something that would matter but uh in the game I can't think of anything that uh it's gonna hurt where if it's okay it's down uh just a little bit too long or up just a little bit too long are you not uh right yeah right I guess I didn't check it looks like it is Okay, there we go. Yep. Just the way it was starting there. Oh, yeah. This does actually have the option for... I don't know if you call it... What do you call it? Windrowing? I guess it's kind of sort of windrowing. Uh, I don't know if I ever figured out how to actually change that. Did I? Actually, no. It's probably control Y. Probably what it is by default. Anyway. We'll leave the hired worker to that. Let's go grab our next piece of equipment here. Probably not on that one. It's probably on one of the quad tracks here. Nope, not that one. How about the other quad track over here? Yep, I think that's the one. I see a poop tank back there from the looks of it. Oh, and with the four cow barns we have, and we have a we have a significant amount of slurry, I would say. At least not hopefully it's a significant we'll find out of one. Uh what do you folks think? Do we actually have enough slurry to do one of the big fields here? I'm thinking either nine or let's maybe go for six. Six. I don't know if folks had to guess which field is small. Actually, you know what? One way to do it. This is. 
area. Bottom red. Okay. Oh, there it is. Okay, I was going to say. Uh, 90 acres, this is 108. So, given the fact that there's definitely more field here, I would say in six. I mean, yeah, you got the little section 21 there, and you got that little piece there. And field five, yep. So, I would say there's definitely more field on six. So, we'll definitely see if we can try to do five here with slurry. Uh, again, one of these fields will be corn, one of them will be soybeans. So, I guess uh, that makes up our mind here then. Six will be the corn, whatever, because, again, soybeans do not need any... Nitrogen or fertilizer, which the way they've done it in the game, I find a little bit odd myself. I don't know about you folks, but it seems like they can maybe do a little bit better with that one. Anyway, uh, we need to go down to our settings here, and I think that is this one. We need to set where it's going to grab it from here. Cow barn or feeding robot? Sure. Fortunately, I don't know which one that is because they all have varying amounts here. This one has 276. That one has... Yeah, 60. That's not going to last for like 440 and 455. I don't think we have enough to do this field. Number. We're going to find out, though, I guess, right? Oh, let's try for two headlands. Be a little bit uh, disappointed if we ran out like halfway through that one, because then, like, what? Well, I guess I can set it to just buy slurry then. <laughs> uh, less than ideal, but. Okay. Off you go. Oh, and there we go. We got, uh, course play says it's going to take uh, 49 minutes and 50 seconds left. Uh, by the way, I did update my version of course play here. Oh, that was actually a while back. Uh, a while back, I actually updated it. And actually, interesting enough, <laughs> same time I updated, we updated it on the servers here too yet. So that actually worked out uh, quite nicely. We're running 7.2 here now, which I think is... The uh, version that's on the official mod hub now, I think. I'm going to could be wrong on that, so don't quote me on that one, but I think that's what it is. So, uh, By the way, with the slurry, of course, we're just putting a straight rate down here. I don't know what the rate is set to here, to be precise, but let's uh, take a look here. What's it saying? It's putting down 60. So, yeah, it's putting down a straight 60 here, so actually not that much. I don't know. Can we bump that? Yeah, I guess we could bump that up if we wanted to. Uh, again, once we plant the corn, we'll probably have to go back through this. And put some more fertilizer down to some, whether it's manure or um, pellet or liquid fertilizer. Probably do the liquid fertilizer, I'm thinking. But oh, it's actually raising it more there. 80. Okay. Is it trying to get the entire field up to a certain amount then? I'm not sure why it would be varying the amount. No, because it's not making the entire field the same either. So I don't know what it's really trying to do here then. I, mean, I, I don't know. Okay, well, anyway, I'll let it uh, do its thing here. And like I said, we'll have to come back at some point. Ooh, speaking of coming back at some point, we need to get uh, fertilizer on field eight here too. Uh, because that is a standing field, let's grab our other fertilizer spreader here. I think this is the one that has herbicide on it, right? Yes, it does. Okay, I'm pretty sure I've got another sprayer here somewhere. Um, <laughs> Uh, that's a good question. Where's the other sprayer at? Not in that shed. That's a problem. I got uh, sheds around everyone, but... I don't think it's in this one. I've been putting the grain carts and stuff in here. Might be attached to the other 8RT tractor here. I don't see the other 8RT right at the moment. There's the mulcher in that one. There it is. Okay. Yep. John Deere 8RT 370. And we have, ah, perfect. Liquid fertilizer in this one. Actually, why did I have liquid fertilizer in this one, I wonder? Must be when we first uh, applied fertilizer to the fields, I'm guessing. You know what? We will not drive across the field here. We'll just uh, drive around a little more realistic that way, right? And uh, by the way, at some point, which I, I guess we could make now, because I do have the money for it, we can start uh, applying some uh, smart technology here to our uh, sprayer. So like I said, maybe we'll do that here this episode. I don't know. Gee, wait a minute. 
Can I apply it to the sprayer, or do I need to have the thing on front? Let's go check this here a minute. So if we customize the sprayer. Uh, sea and spray, that is for weeds, which, okay, that's nice. I think that's only for weeds, right? Yes. What I actually want to do is get the other attachment here. Check, you know what? I think I can apply that to the tractor, right? I think that's what we got to do. Well, let's go check this here a minute. Oh, maybe we can't. Uh, can we not apply that to this tractor? Maybe not. Trying to think here, Nelvin. Let's see once here, large tractors. Yes, that is what I'm looking for. That is the uh, one that uh, detects the nitrogen demand on your crops. And, well, kind of pretty straightforward at that point. Applies the correct amount of fertilizer. And I'll be used in the daytime. Okay. And then I, oh, I guess we can't put that on this uh, 8RT then, can we? Oh, you know what? Probably because it's a modded one. That's right. I forgot about that one. Uh, I believe all the in-game ones you can, but this is a modded one. Um, the other option, everyone, is we could buy the attachment for it, but then I'd have to put a front three-point. Which, I guess if we want to use that attachment, I mean, that might be what we have to do. There it is. Oh, and then we can add a weight with it, too, if we wanted to. Okay. Yeah, one of the... Uh, one of the little bit silly European style weights, if you ask me. But yeah, let's uh, let's go with that. Uh, working speed 11. Well, we're going to need to crank that up then, I think, because our sprayer... I'm not actually sure how fast our sprayer can go. We'll crank that up to about 16. That should be pretty good. Let's see how fast our sprayer goes here. Customize that a minute again. Uh, we can go... Oh, 13? Okay, that yeah, should be fine. Oh, that's right. Gotta reattach here. Let's head over to the shop, Evan. We'll uh, re-customize the tractor here then. So we can have a front three point. At least hopefully that's an option. I'm not sure if that's even an option with this tractor. I maybe should have checked that. Let's actually check that. There's no sense going back to the shop here. If there's no option for a th front three point. Hmm. There is not. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, that just changes that. Okay, well, in that case, everyone. Huh. I guess we won't be using, at least not with this tractor then anyway, everyone. Going back. I thought we would at least have a front uh, three-point attachment. I don't know, maybe that's not really a thing with these tractors then? I'm not exactly sure how you're supposed to attach that particular attachment then to the front of this tractor. This tractor obviously doesn't have the option for the uh, smart applying the nitrogen. And then we don't have a front three point either, so I guess this tractor just is not gonna work for that. Okay, well, we're just gonna be uh, applying nitrogen the dumb way here then, I guess. Oh well. Get rid of that uh, force plate force. That's the one for field seven, huh? Oh, speaking of uh, field seven, by the way, as you folks probably seen here from last episode, I don't know what is going on with this field. I mean, and you can see where I've had, like, the mulch look across the... I don't know what... Uh, strange things on this field. Strange, strange things. Of course, we had part of the field grow on us there last episode, and I don't know what's going on, but... Uh, oh, well. We'll see what's how it goes here, I guess. Definitely some strange things there. Okay, one headland. That's probably good enough. First waypoint. Drive the course. Oh, yeah, that's definitely putting some fertilizer down, is it? Okay, then. Well. I will leave the hired worker to that one. How are we looking over on this uh, field here? I wonder what uh, slurry pit we're pulling from here. We should be able to tell, I would think, at least if I can remember the numbers. 455, yeah, okay. 332. Okay, must be from this one, everyone, because, yeah, there, that one just went down. I think we were up to, like, 400 or something on this one here as well. 
So we've used, uh, what, about 100,000 liters here or so, so far. Oh, speaking of a bunch, by the way, the food is starting to go up on these. Excellent. Yep, so now that we got younger cows in here, everyone, uh, they're not taking near as much feed as they were before. And it's actually starting to go up, so that's good. Just got to keep an eye on it, make sure they have everything they need yet. Okay, anyway, then one more job we have to do here yet. Ooh, I should probably get... Probably should get a rate going over on that field, shouldn't I? Let's see, monster. How about the quad track, I guess? We'll put that on the roller. Oh, there's the red quad track. I was actually looking for that one. There we go. And we will go roll our oat field. Although I say we, I might have to go get the uh, rake going on the grass field here first. After we maybe check and see what the cows need. If they need more silage or more hay. I guess it really probably doesn't matter a whole lot either way. We buy one or the other. I guess whichever one's probably cheaper would be the best option. Uh, if we do silage, though, I, mean, I will have to probably look into uh, getting something for making silage with. Um, probably would be easiest to go with a round baler that has it built in, at least if you're using force play for it. Otherwise, if you use a just a regular baler, drop the bales, and you got to come back through at a later date, pick up and wrap the bales. Yeah, getting that to work with course play sometimes, and you got to hope the bales all drop properly, and ah, you folks get that idea, right? It's easier just to use a round baler. I don't think there's any square balers that uh, support wrapping on the go that I recall. You know what, with those uh, poles being so close here, let's get some uh, GPS going here on this. Just make it a little bit easier on ourselves here. Okay, so 90 degrees, auto with that. Home that back on the tractor. Yeah, definitely, whoop, wrong way. Shift that over here just a little bit. There we go. Not doing anything to the already growing crops there. That, that's uh, a good thing there, I guess. Also, interesting enough, it is uh, changing the texture. Oh, speaking of uh, texture, by the way, Evan, um, I don't know when or how this changed, but I noticed with this roller, I mean, they've got a smooth texture going on with this roller. Um, if folks notice, most of your rollers, they'll apply a, well, it, it's a texture that looks like this. I don't know what you would call that texture, but uh, it's got like some ridges in it, right? With this roller, I mean, it's smooth, which is what you would expect, by the way, at least with this style roller, because it is a smooth roller. I mean, you shouldn't be seeing all the, the ridges. So I'm not sure who the mod author is behind this, but excellent, excellent job. I didn't know this was even possible in the game because it seemed like uh, rollers only did the uh, texture with the ridges. But apparently there is an option somewhere, Evan, so that you can actually have it apply a smooth texture and or giants made it. So I don't, I don't know either way of them, but definitely very, very nice to see that. Oh, we'll try to turn around in the corner here. That's always fun. Yep. I guess there's no sense trying to really get any more of them because that corn's already grown, so it's not going to be applied to it. What I might do here, though, is do one more headland pass, though, I think. Give ourselves plenty of room to turn around here on this end, kind of like we did when the planting as well. Nope. A little too far there. Good thing it doesn't matter too much in the game, everyone. Real life, that probably wouldn't have been good for the roller. Get rid of the course by course that's loaded up on here. Oh, and once we finish this headland, we should probably go 
grab a rake or something here for that field, or a tether, depending on what we're doing. We'll figure that out here once we're over there. Okay, there we go. This uh, backed up, we can uh, realign our GPS. And then, like I said, we'll go uh, check and see where the cows are at and what we need as far as hay and or silage goes. Okay, let's hop over by the cow barns here real quick a minute. Take a quick look at uh, this uh, information. Oh, that puts us on that side of the cow barn, doesn't it? Okay, we need to be... Well, actually, this will work. Uh, so, hay, we have 72,000. Silage, we have 82,000. Uh, keep in mind, it does use more silage than it does hay. So, being that the numbers are about the same, probably we need, we need silage in this one. We also need straw, as you probably saw there. We're going to have to buy some uh, straw bales from the looks of it. 104 versus 94. So, yeah, about the same there. I forget if it's 150 or 200,000 it holds for the silage. Oh, we got plenty of straw on that one, don't we? Excellent. And hay as well. So it looks like, from what I'm seeing, it looks like silage is going to be the way to go. Well, 56 on that one. Okay. So far, three out of the uh, four of them, it looks like silage would probably be the better choice to uh, go with. This one as well, silage. Yep. Yeah. And uh, actually, yeah, straw would probably be the best of them, but we won't have straw until we have our oats ready to harvest. Although, with the way they were growing here last episode, you never know. Maybe they, uh, they'll be ready quicker. <laughs> oh, for those of you who've seen that there last time, I don't know what was up with that. That was weird. I wonder, all of a sudden, the oats just started growing. And of course, that was only the little bit we had, what, one row we had planted so far, but it grew. It's a little weird. Okay, we'll uh, run back to the barn here, grab our rake here, or actually we have a, oh, what is that particular machine it called? It's not really a rake, per se. I forget the name of it here now. We'll call it a rake for the moment, but... It's supposed to be a little bit uh, gentler and better on, uh, say, like alfalfa. I would imagine clover's probably somewhat similar there. Uh, where you want to try to maintain the leaves of your uh, product that you're raking. A little bit gentler on it, essentially. Let's say an actual rake or a wheel rake. There we go. Back it up. This thing does not back up very well, does it? Wow, what the heck? thing have like a steer axle on it or something it would appear it's got a steering axle yeah that uh wow talk about some garbage there everyone why in the world would you want a steer axle on that that is annoying not sure how you're supposed to back up an atrocity like that but anyway we'll just uh, park that right in front of the mower And we'll just use this tractor again, because why not? We way overkill here for this application. And I think we've got a course play course already created for this, so we'll just have to get in here and reload that course. Because, again, when we're doing baling, everybody want both the rake and the baler to be on the same course. That way, of course, all the lines and windows hopefully line up. And, uh, fortunately, with this uh, particular piece of equipment, I mean, it does offer the option of merge to the middle. 
You could probably maybe get it to work left and right, but yeah, good luck getting all the numbers to work out on that one, everyone. Like I said, you spend enough time generating the course, you could probably figure it out, but let's see once here. Field eight. 35 rake load course. Activate. Where's our start point? Oh wait, this is field eight, isn't it? Oh, da oh, that's right. This is a brand new field, though. We do not have a course for this one. Okay, so we need to create a course. Let's do three headlands. Uh, the one thing I do want to change is starting on the center here first. Sometimes it seems like, oh, you know what? Probably need to pull this out, I bet. That looks a little narrow on the course generator there. Okay, let's try that again here. Get rid of that course. Regenerate the uh, 3.6 meters, okay. Try that. There we go. It's showing it in the red box. So that should be right now. 10.7 meters. Much, much better. Okay, let's generate that course. There we go. Oh, excuse me. And you know what? One thing we do want to go do is go back into here. We want to... Actually, what is the number on this field here? Is it three? Yes, field three. Okay. So field three. Let's create a new folder. Field three. Okay, let's try that again, because it was auto-saving. And save the current course. So field, whoa, field three, 35 meter break. Sure. It's it pretty obvious, it's probably the only course we have for this field. I, you know, again, I'm on the course by courses generate so easy. I don't typically save most of my courses with the exception, of course, this one here. Because, well, we need to load it up on the baler as well. So, okay, first waypoint. Drive course. And I'm going to hop back over to our roller here. Shift that course over just a little bit. Actually, maybe go a little bit more just to be safe. I'm not sure how good of a job I did uh, keeping the field edge straight here, so. And while we're rolling, we need to go baler shopping. And if I remember correctly, we were using the Kubota fast bale here last time around. That one seemed like it worked really well, so I'm going to probably go with that one here again. Because that one both, yeah, it wraps and, of course, bales. Uh, do we have any, like, larger options? No, nope, that's square. This one has a wrapper on it as well, doesn't it? The advantage here looks like it makes the larger bale size. Okay, wrapped up to 150. So really not, like, that much bigger, because I think this is, what, 125? Yeah, let's just go with the boat oven. I like it. Okay, we'll uh, read a few uh, comments here a moment. Uh, Steven was saying that the trailer is designed to be load a semi in the field. Hmm. Not sure I remember what uh, trailer we're looking at there, but okay. I might have to go look and see what sort of trailer we're looking at here again last episode. Uh, Matt was saying you need to try the 53-foot drop deck trailer with the auto load and lizard haymaster. And a 50-foot gooseneck uh, transport trailer. Wow, that's a lot of trailers going on there. Okay. Uh, Nightwolf is saying, I use a silo called the Maurice on the in-game mod hub. Holds a ton of everything. Whatever map you're running. There's a buy silo in-game mod hub from 82 Studios. Or you could just use your drop deck or your developer mode. Click on the vehicle, fill the trailer up with whatever you want. Uh, that is true. You could do that too. I, I prefer to... That sounds a little cheatish there. So I'll avoid that if you can, but... Uh, Christopher was saying, good morning, good video. Thank you very much for that. Uh, Tattoo was saying, wow, those are some fast growing oats. Yes, they were there, Tattoo. Those are some really fast growing oats. Like, oh my goodness, I don't know what was up with that. But anyway. Oh, no, this corner hasn't started growing yet. So I suppose we can uh, see you know, how much what we can roll here. Oh, it rolls backwards too. Cool. Which kind of makes sense, right?
Okay, and looking at the time, everyone, with that, we're going to wrap this episode up here. If you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them down below. And as always, everyone, thanks for watching, and until next time.